In a real agility organization, the manager is responsible for the development of one or more delivery teams. A delivery team could be working on product line, could be working on projects, could be working on operations. The development of a team somehow needs to be assessed. In order to assess the development of a team, you need a few things in place. You need a vision, you need some goals, and in particular, perhaps hardest, is you need some metrics that apply at the team level. Now, when we're st first starting out with Real Agility and running the Real Agility program, some of the metrics are actually about agility itself. How well are we doing? Are we doing Scrum well or Open Agile? Or, you know, how well is the team manifesting the values and principles of lean thinking? This is often done through surveys, and it's relatively simple. More importantly, especially later on, is measuring business success. Business success metrics at a high level are often the ones we've been talking about already. Return on investment, time to market, customer satisfaction. Some of those metrics can actually be measured at the team level. So, for example, time to market is actually fairly simple. You measure when a team is requested to do something and then when they actually deliver on that. You know, that time, on average, should be shorter and shorter. Of course, business metrics aren't the only thing that you want to assess. You also want to understand the stage of team development for your teams. Graphically, we can say that over time, the productivity, the effectiveness of your team will change. When the team first start out, starts out, when it's formed, usually things are pretty decent. Not great, not bad, maybe some fun and excitement, but very quickly, a team will transition into storming, especially if they're using real agility techniques. This is a crisis. And as long as you're supporting them, they can often get through that crisis easily. As they come out of that crisis, they get into the next stage of development, norming. Here things are comfortable and stable. This is a problem for you as a manager because your habits are going to be that this is what we want, but it's not. Your habit is to think, wow, smooth flowing, reliable delivery, we love that. But it's not the final stage of development for a team. The final stage of development for a team is that high performance stage. And the transition really is about delivery versus learning. In other words, again, we come back to this idea of continuous improvement. Real agility and, the, and high performance teams requires continuous improvement and learning. Contact us at Bertig. We transform people, process, and culture through the power of real agility.